uh, Senator Kennedy from Louisiana is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Th um, thank you, Madam Secretary and Mr. Chairman for, for being here. Uh, Madam Secretary, when you were here last, and we all look forward to you coming, um, I asked you to tell me what you thought inflation would be at the end of this year, and you told me 2%. Do you still stand by that prediction? Um, clearly, inflation this year is going to be above 2%. Um, just the experience so far this year makes that clearly true. But I think we are seeing monthly inflation rates uh, taper off. Yes, ma'am. What do and you think it'll be at the end of the year, if not 2%? Um, probably closer to 4%. Okay. And... Um, the, right. that's that's already um, almost must be the case based on what's happened this year but um, in my estimation um, there are the types of supply bottlenecks that okay. the economy I don't want to spend too much time on inflation and I'm sorry to interrupt but we have so little time and I talk slowly <laughs> um, What party controls the House? The Democrats. What party controls the Senate? Um, the Democrats. I believe we can agree that President Biden is a Democrat. I believe. Okay. Senator Schumer is a Democrat. And my, and my friend controls the Senate floor. And he can raise the debt ceiling by just amending the budget resolution, can he? It's possible that that could be done. Yes, ma'am. So why didn't he do it? Why don't y'all do it? Because, this, we is, don't, let me because this is... Let me just finish. Why don't y'all just do it and then we don't have this fight? Because why, this, why do you insist on, on on doing it the hard way? Because it's very important to recognize that raising the debt ceiling is about paying bills that Congress has incurred in the past, way, I, and it's I don't a shared get off the responsibility. Subject. So why and don't you? Democrats I agree with that. Have, so why don't you just amend the budget resolution? Democrats have provided votes in the past when both houses of Congress were controlled by Republicans, when uh, the Republican Party was in the middle of reconciliation. Right. 2017 is a good example, and Democrats uh, pitched in to do their duty to raise, yes, to raise the debt but, ceiling. But I just, I just, I just, I know all that, and we, we, we and I appreciate your perspective, but let me ask you again. There's a real simple solution. Why don't y'all just amend the budget resolution? It just takes 50 votes by my Democratic friends and the vice president. Why don't you just do that? Problem solved. Done. Easy peasy. Finish. Let's go have a cocktail. Well, it, it will be up to the leadership of, of but, Congress. Are you going to recommend that he do on, that? We will confer with them on what is the best strategy to move forward. Yeah. It's not often, I, I haven't been around this place as long as you have. Um, but it's not often around here that we have a, a, a problem that has an easy solution. And this is a real easy solution. And I get politics. I understand why politically you folks want to have Republican fingerprints on the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the spending fiscal knife. I get that. But do you really, is, it, is your politics so important that you want to gamble here on the sovereign debt sure of the United the States when you have a very, very simple solution that you refuse to take? I want to see that the debt ceiling is raised. As I've said, I believe it would be catastrophic not to do so.
but I equally believe that um, deficits have been run under both Democratic and Republican administrations. It's important to recognize that, and that means that paying the bills for those deficits is a shared a shared responsibility, and it should not be the responsibility. I, I agree of with any that. One part Very eloquently that. put. But it's a fact, isn't it? That you just you you and your folks just want Republican spin uh, uh, fingerprints on the Democrats' effort to tax, spin, and regulate America into Europe. Now it's your prerogative to do that. But this is all about the administration's desire to have Republican fingerprints on it and later call it bipartisan. And you know that, Madam Secretary, with all the respect I can muster, and so do the American people. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Senator Kennedy, I rarely speak between witnesses, but I wonder if Secretary Yellen takes you up on the offer to go get a cocktail if um, if – you would pay or you'd skip out on paying the bill and expect Secretary Yellen to pay. Senator Menendez is recognized from New Jersey. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I, I had not intended to pursue this line of questioning, but uh, I, I must say my distinguished friend and colleague from Louisiana always sparks my interest. Uh, Republican 